question for the not so technical. Um, if you have seen any of these motion pictures before, you have been exposed to the idea of AI. With the long weekend coming up, I recommend watching or re-watching any of these films. You might be surprised by how relevant it is with today's technology and the innovations of the future technology. So, what is artificial intelligence? It is machine intelligence that is artificially created. It happens when a machine acquires the ability to think and act like a human. And a technical, a technical description would be that AI leverages computers and machines to mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities of the human mind. So how old is artificial intelligence? Some people may think it's only a couple of decades, but actually it was first created in 19, between the 1945 and 1952. It's almost 100 years old. So Warren McCulloch and Walter Pitts, two mathematicians, published a paper that described the behavior of human neurons with the help of simple logical functions, which inspired Alan, Alan Turing to publish Computing Machinery and Intelligence. I don't know if anybody knows who Alan Turing is. Um, he created the Turing test that used to check a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior. In World War II, he was responsible for breaking the Nazi Enigma code. So he helped end World War II a lot faster than what it would have been ended because of artificial intelligence. So here's some fun examples of artificial intelligence. If you know, hey Google, Siri or Alexa, will it rain tomorrow? Cook for me, anything like that. So there are six major subfields of artificial intelligence. And the one that I'm gonna be talking about is computer vision. So what is computer vision? It's a subfield of artificial intelligence that uses algorithms to understand images and videos the same way the eye does. Um, how does it work? It, is, it works to see or recognize and process images and then provides the appropriate output. Not just see an image, but understand its content. I always think of the beginning of computer vision as a five-year-old that goes to school. They learn what a triangle is. If you ask a five-year-old or before school that's never been to school what a triangle is, they're not gonna be able to know or tell you or draw it. But as soon as they go to school and they taught repeatedly what a triangle is and in the different ways a triangle can be presented, they start to learn what a triangle is. So um, can I please have a volunteer from the crowd? Tori! <laughs> yes, come on. Can I'm up? So you get 10 points for being brave. Okay, so Tori is going to um, play on a game called Quick Draw on Google. Quick Draw uses a data set from a collection of 50 million drawings collected by Google, and it contributes, it's contributed by drawing objects from 345 categories. Um, so go ahead, let's hope the sound is on. I see line, or flamingo, or diving board, or sweater. Oh, I know, it's fire hydrant. Oh, I know, it's circle. I see nose. So you can see that it's um, actually line. guessing what you're drawing. Oh, I know, at it's the giraffe. bottom. I see circle. Oh, I know, it's snowman. I see glove or arm. For the oh, last I know. one, draw something Bracelet. completely incorrect. Yeah. Draw something else that's not a kangaroo. I at see all. circle or blueberry. So it's or saying it's strawberry. blueberry, a strawberry, or dragon. a dragon. I see carrot. A carrot. Or lobster. <laughs> lobster. Or 
Poor bird. A parrot. Poor dog. I see parrot. Poor hedgehog. Sorry, I couldn't and then guess it. It tells you all of the ones it was able to get and one it wasn't able to get, and then it populates the data set with that. So that is a very basic example of computer vision. Thank you, Tori. 10 points for Tori, thank you. So some more basic examples of computer vision. Um, I see Tabang isn't here. I was gonna use him as an example. If you ever have Tabang on WhatsApp, you'll see he has videos of his car driving him to work. That's used by computer vision. In the far left-hand side, you see it has object identification. So it's able to identify an object and then by that object, it can tell you to speed up or slow down. Then there's the middle one where if you go to a foreign country and you don't know what language um, the signs are, you can use Google and upload that picture on Google and it'll tell you what that sign is saying. And then the, the last but not least, uh, facial recognition for security. So if you try to get into Lucky's phone to get access to the bar tab, it won't let you because you don't have his face. It's also evolved a lot. Computer vision has evolved a lot because initially it would only be able to take a 2D photo. Now, as you can see in the last photo, it says move your head slowly to complete the circle. That means it's taking lots of different ways that your face could look and it implement, puts it back in the data set so that it knows how to compare your face in different circumstances. Ooh, okay. So what's in it for me? There is a lot of technology that exists and that is being researched. So one of them that exists is uh, security threat detection. So if someone comes in, so think about this. If you ever think about a, um, an office building that has people staring at a screen and watching for threat detection for hours on end, 24 hours, and maybe they fall asleep, you know, it's the same thing. You can actually get computer vision to be able to pick up if there's a threat. If you can see in the, top, the bottom right corner, the computer vision was actually able to pick up that it's a gun and what type of gun it is. They use it in America because there's a lot of gun shooting, so, or school shootings. Um, there's also the ability in medical, in the medical industry. So you could possibly scan something on your skin, like, ooh, I don't know what this is. And then it could tell you if it's a threat or not. Um, and then my favorite, which actually inspired me to do this talk. I don't know how many people are animal lovers here. Someone that doesn't know animals well, can you put your hands up? Don't know animals well? And okay, and if dogs scare the living daylights out of you, can you please come up? Thanks. Um, while she's coming up, I'm going to explain what the top left hand side is. So as you can see, it's two different faces, the one, but they both say that they're both surprised. This is the ability and what we're working towards in computer vision, but it's called weak AI, which means it's not there yet. So can you please tell me what that dog is saying? What if you saw that dog standing and looking at you like that, what do you, what does it feel? Would you run? Do you think it's going to attack you? It looks friendly, but I'd run. <laughs> You'd run. Okay. So I chose that picture specifically because I thought this dog looked a little bit mean. This dog actually is exhibiting the fact that it's scared. And computer vision will be able to pick that up and by its body language. <laughs> Uh, by its body language, it will be able to tell you why it's what, what it is scared and what you can do in a moment like that when it is scared. Um, thank you so much for coming up. Okay, well, that is my tech talk. Um, anybody have any questions? Okay, feel free to ask questions in the room or in the chat. Question? Okay. Yes. All right, we're bringing a mic. So 
in the last example you showed, yes. computer vision will tell you when to run when you see a dog. Like, like now, you have to run. I, it will be able to tell you if it's aggressive or if it's scared. So, <laughs> but that's something that's a future benefit that they're working on right now. So it's not something that's developed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you can scan it and the computer will tell you what to do. Sway your arms. <laughs> um, the reason why I used a picture of the dog was because a lot of people go to animal shelters and they don't know what the behavior of that animal is. And so they think, oh, this dog is really cute. I'm going to take it home. But actually, it's exhibiting behaviors that maybe you, as a beginner of a dog owner, don't know how to handle. That shouldn't stop you from adopting an animal. What it should do, what technology can do is help you go through how you can handle that animal itself. So if anyone wants to fund this project for me, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, guys. <laughs>